Hi everybody, this is John Lamesney and I'm going to show you how to take a YouTube video like this one here and embed it into Blackboard. So here I have two tabs, one of which is YouTube, another of which is the Blackboard Academic Suite, and I'm logged in as myself, Lamesney, on both uh, sites. This video here is a video that I took very quickly and uh, uploaded the video using the Quip Quick Upload tool. And every video that you put up on Blackboard, as a matter of fact, every video, I'm sorry, every video you find on YouTube or every video that you put up on YouTube comes with this little embed code. When I click on this piece of code here, it uh, selects it, which allows me to right click and choose copy. Now I've copied that uh, embed code to my clipboard. I can take that embed code and put it into a website like a blog or a post on Blackboard. So let's go ahead and navigate to Blackboard. I'll go to my Welcome tab. I'll navigate into a course. I'll navigate into a discussion board. Go into the discussion. Go into the threads. And I'll go ahead and click on a message that I want to reply to with a video. I'm going to go ahead and click on Reply. And up comes my WYSIWYG editor. And I can type in, you know, here's a video I found that speaks to the issue. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to paste the uh, code directly in here because Blackboard looks at this code and sees this object tag here and says, I don't want to put this directly into. Um, the post. I don't want to allow it because it might be dangerous code. And so what we need to do is we need to specify to Blackboard that this is a flash video that we're putting up. And that's exactly what we're doing. And there's actually an add flash shock shockwave content button right here. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And in a third tab opens up this insert flash dialog uh, here. And we're going to use this in order to insert our YouTube video. So if we had uh, downloaded a YouTube video, which is another video entirely, <laughs> um, we could browse for it on our web on our uh, local machine. But we we didn't download the video. The video is still sitting up on YouTube. So we're going to use the specify source URL dialog uh, field in order to specify the video that we are pointing to. We're going to paste the embed code that we copied off YouTube. Okay. And you can see it has the entire embed code, including uh, things like a width uh, pixel specification of 425 and a height uh, width pixel specification of 355. We're actually going to use those. We're going to type them in down here, 425 and 355 under height. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that our video appears the way that it should in the Blackboard post. It, you could leave these as they were, and they would probably work, but uh, if you change it to 425 by 355, uh, it will appear the way that it would appear right on YouTube. And so I suggest that you do it. Now, we're going to take out everything except for the URL that is in the embed code. And that URL starts right here. We're going to stop right at the uh, double quote there, and we're going to delete it. Then we're going to go to the end of the URL. The end of the URL stops right here. It says REL equals one quote. We're, we're going to take everything else after that, select it all, and we're going to delete it. Okay? So note, we only have this URL in here. We don't have anything else. We don't have any quotes. We don't have any... Uh, width or height specifications, and we just have this URL. Finally, I'm going to leave the rest of these be, and where it says alt text, I'm going to add YouTube video. Okay? Now we're going to click on submit, and it gives me a preview right here. Now, note, you have to scroll down a little bit and click on submit one more time in order for it to end up in your post. If you don't click on the submit the second time, it's not going to show up. So we click on submit, and then go back to our original post where it says 
uh, here's a video I found that speaks to the issue, and you can see that the video is now embedded below um, the piece of text that we typed in there. Now, when we're ready, we go ahead and click on either save or submit or cancel if we were not interested in having this published. If we click on submit, it'll be available to the other students in the class right away. If we click on save, we get the opportunity to modify it further without actually showing it to anybody. And so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on save. And we're going to see that in here, after the uh, post, it says draft. And what this means is that it's only available to you right now as the poster. And if we scroll down, if we click on the uh, post, we can see that we have this modify button which allows us to modify the post if we want or remove. And here's the uh, post. It looks exactly the way that I want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and modify it, which brings me back into that dialog. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to say submit now. I'm going to say, yeah, I really want to send it out to the world. I say submit. And now that draft uh, text goes away. And my video is live up on this discussion board. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps with some clarification about how to embed YouTube video into Blackboard. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to reply to this. I'll talk to you later.